up Substancy fans, it's Patricia and welcome to another video. Today's video is called Strong and Long and I'm an independent substancy consultant up here in Canada. If you're stumbling on my channel for the first time, you're probably wondering what does she mean by strong and long? So a long time ago, I started a series where I review scents each week. It's called Tester Tuesday. An important part to me is how strong the scent is and how long it lasts. I usually cover both in my reviews. I did a survey once asking people, what do you prefer to know more about or what's more important to you? And roughly it was about two thirds are very concerned with the strength and only about one third are concerned with how long something lasts. So I think what's happening is in this day and age, we have big open floor plans in a lot of homes and they're very hard to send, <laughs> mine included. So what I'm gonna do is try to give you a guide of 12 cents from the spring and summer catalog that are very strong that I would use in my open layout. Now, usually those scents I would only leave for one day because they dilute through the air and you can't smell them after a while. That's the nature of the beast with a big open floor plan. After that, the latter part of the video, we're gonna discuss 12 scents that I consider long lasting. Please don't confuse that I'm saying that these scents are both strong and long lasting. I'm considering them two separate entities. The strong ones I would warm in my open layout and the longer lasting ones I would usually warm in a bedroom or a small space because sometimes they are on the lighter side. They're kind of like a slow rolling type of scent that you might kind of just smell on a more gentle basis, but they do kind of sustain that longevity for quite a while. And just before we get into the scents, just remember this is just a guide. Performance always varies because wax <laughs> is its own <laughs> beast. And this is not necessarily scents that I would recommend on scent appeal, just on performance in their various categories. So let's get started. All right, first we're gonna cover the strong scents. These are ones that I would put in my open layout. The first one is Make a Splash. This one has apples, melons, and a, uh, like a, a turquoise water. It's very fresh, very strong. You can get it in wax and other products like cleaning. Scent number two, Rainbow Sherbet. This has got like that raspberry, strawberry, lime kind of thing going on. Whoa, it is so strong. It's very syrupy and sweet, so you have to like sweet scents. You could actually mix this if you want, but it's very, very strong. Good for open layouts. That's in the fruity category. Scent number three is another fruity scent, but it could easily go in the floral. It's Cloudberry Dreams. This one here has sweet raspberry, rose, peach, and vanilla. I definitely get the rose. Raspberry is strong, the peach is strong, the rose is strong. The vanilla is not very strong. So this one is definitely open concept worthy. Scent number four. Generally laundry scents are very strong. I could probably put any of the laundry scents in this section, but I just picked the strongest one. If you're not new to Scentsy, you probably know which one it is. It's clothesline. This is very strong. One cube will kind of go really far in your home. Whoa. I like this one. It's it's quite high on scent appeal for me, but I just don't gravitate towards laundry scents. It's basically described as fresh, clean laundry and it has a lots of like some florals and different notes. I'll put them down below, but it's just a strong laundry scent. To me, it reminds me more of like a, a bounce dryer sheet. That's what I get. All right, the next one is Coconuts for Coconuts. This one is was a new release last year. This one has tiara flower and coconuts, but it smells like you're walking to the beach and somebody's putting sunscreen on ahead of you and you can smell some florals and you can smell the beachy air. So that's pretty strong, that one. All right, the next one I don't have a bar for. It's actually a new release this year. It's banana leaf and bamboo. The reason I don't have a bar is I actually prefer sea salt and avocado. So even though this is very strong, I just prefer to warm sea salt and avocado via the club. Yes. So let me read you the scent notes for banana leaf and bamboo. It's in the fresh category. It's white peach, banana leaf, bamboo, and sheer mahogany. It's just a very strong green based scent. We do have a lot of those fresh green based scents. So there you go. Now the next one is one that I definitely do not care for. It is very strong for me and it is in the kids section or the licensed section. I should say licensed, not kids. It's Wizarding World by Harry Potter. So the notes on this are sparkling citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, vanilla, and amber. It's a very heavy woods based scent. Very strong, heavy, more fall than spring and summer, but I definitely wanted to include it because it is in the spring and summer catalog. 
All right, moving along, we have lilacs and violets. This is a floral. In the past, I haven't had very outstanding performance with this, but recently I warmed a bar and it was very, very strong. So this is basically lilacs and violets in the floral. The next one, citrus. Next couple are citrus. It's cocoa lime. So this has the coconut milk and the lime. Basically, that's it. I think there's a little bit of vanilla, but the coconut milk is different than coconut. So keep that in mind. It just blends a creamy, diluted background note, but it's not very... <laughs> How do I say this? This scent is pretty strong in the lime. So when I say diluted, it's not very diluted at all. It just takes the pungent lime down just a notch. It's very strong. Good mixer too. The next one was a former scent of the month, Squeeze the Day. This is basically like a lemonade with a, or a lemon with a touch of vanilla. And it smells a little bit like lemonade, hence the name. Yeah, I like this one. It's very strong and vibrant, great as a mixer. The next one is Ruby Nectarine. This was a scent of the month last year. There's um, apples and nectarine. I forget what else. This smells like when you're going through the grocery store and you can smell the, the fruit, but you can also smell like the stems of the fruit, and like the banana, like that banana, when you peel that banana, not the smell of the banana, but almost like that peel, that smell, that slightly earthy smell that smells <laughs> like a fruit, not the part you eat. <laughs> That's what I get from Ruby Nectarine. And wrapping things up, we're gonna go with a Johnny Appleseed. This is a Macintosh based scent. It smells like the Macintosh apples, the peels and the pear. Very strong, no spice, good as a mixer. So hopefully those 12 scents as a good starting guide if you're struggling with what scents to put in your open layout. So let's move on if you are more of someone that wants to hear about longer lasting scents. All right, let's talk about the longer lasting scents. Now for me, these are scents that I would put in bedrooms typically and leave going for two to three days, perhaps even more depending on their longevity. And they just kind of tick along. Sometimes they just, I call them slow rollers. And they just, you walk in, yes, you can still smell it. Perhaps it's because it's enclosed and a smaller space. Now, none of these scents I would typically warm in my big layout. But there are two scents that overlapped from the strong category. So perhaps <laughs> I, I lie when I say that. Scent number one we'll talk about is Cloudberry Dreams. This one has the peach, the raspberry, the rose, and the vanilla. And secondly, in the wood section and also the license section is Wizarding World Harry Potter. So again, the, the notes on that are sparkling citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, vanilla, and amber. A lot of the mahogany woods and amber with this one, it's very deep, dark, rich, and heavy. All right, so the next 10 we are going to go through. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I did struggle a little bit with picking the longevity scents for this video because typically spring and summer is not long, known for its longevity. Longevity often comes from having lots of base notes and spring and summer scents tend to not have as many base notes, but we're going to do our best. So scent number three, I don't have a bar, but I remember warming this and thinking it lasted very long when I warmed it and it is Lake My Day. The scent notes for Lake My Day are Lake Waves, crisp bergamot, and fresh oak moss. It smells like a masculine aquatic cologne scent. If those are the type of scents that you like, then Lake My Day is fairly long lasting. We can't do a spring and summer video without talking about the very long lasting, cozy, comforting, slightly smoky Bonfire Beach. This is like a marshmallow fragrance that's a salty sea air, a slight lean towards masculinity, but not too much, just in the perfect way. This will just go and go. It's not very strong for me, but it's a great long lasting scent. All right, another one that's very long lasting and I find pretty strong is Jammy Time. This one has like baby freesia, lavender, and I think, is it sweet pea? Let me look it up. Yes, very strong. One of my sister's favorites. Yes, you can put this in the warmer and it'll just go. It's a great value scent in the fresh category. In the fruity section, we have a peeling apple. This one has apple and I think it has sweet pea as well. Yes, juicy apple, pear, and sweet pea. Very, very good. And this is fairly strong as well. I would consider warming this in my open layout, but in smaller rooms, it lasts a long, long time. We have a hibiscus pineapple. This is in the floral section. This is basically pineapple, mandarin, and hibiscus. Yeah, and this will, it kind of maintains its strength for a long time in a bedroom. So I think if, if say if you were having somebody come over and you're not sure what their scent preferences are, but you know they like kind of that style of scent, you could put this in and it will go in their bedroom and you won't have to worry about changing it. All right, we have Coastal Sunset. This is in the Woods Fragrance family. 
And Coastal Sunset has creamy coconut, sandalwood, and amethyst amber. Yes, I describe this as a romantic coconut scent. Great for bedrooms. All right, the next two are going to be from the license collection. Now, one is a bit stronger than the other. Let's talk about that one first. The first one that is a bit stronger than the other one is Disney Princess True Love Awaits. Now, this reminds me of the little sister of Cloudberry Dreams. It smells very similar, but a slightly different twist, more, more pal palatable <laughs> for many, I would say. This one says ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and sweet vanilla. But there is a floral tone to this, but it's very pleasant, and I can put this in my daughter's bedroom, and it'll last and last. So that is a good one. Now, one that is very light. Some people struggle smelling, but if you're one of the people that can smell it, this one will last at that low intensity for quite a while. It's 100 Acre Wood. So 100 Acre Wood is one of those kind of scents that reminds you of a baby in the best possible way. Like picture the smell, smell of a baby's clothes just when you bring them home. <laughs> it just smells so good. Let me read you the notes here. It says cotton blossoms, jasmine, and vanilla. Now, a lot of people say that they get lavender. I can definitely see that. It's probably in there. They just don't list it. Yeah, and some people say they can't smell the greatest, so make sure you put this in a hot warmer. You could try a bulb warmer and an element warmer and see which one works better for you and make sure the element warmer is on the hotter side. All right, so the last two scents, this second to last scent is one that I haven't warmed a lot of. I did warm in testers, and I asked my friend Shannon, I said, Shannon, I'm having trouble picking 12 scents. I keep like double guessing my scents. And so I, I listed the ones that I thought I was pretty confident on. And the one she came up with immediately was this one. And if you know me, you know, it's kind of a joke that I haven't worn this in full bar yet. And it is Mystery Man. So Mystery Man is in the woods fragrance family. And it has things like, let me see, white cedar, verbena, and bergamot. It says it's a sensual fragrance. So maybe it's good that it lasts a long time. But yes, one of those masculine cologne based scents that does have those base notes that will keep it going. And this would obviously be good in the fall and winter as well. Now the last scent, I decided to put this in because I warmed it the other day and it just seemed to last a fairly long time at a good solid intensity. Like it didn't dramatically dip and it seemed to be a good medium for quite a while. And it's a former scent of the month. And it's unfortunate that I've kind of fallen out of love with this one a little bit, but it's palm trees and ocean breeze. So this one has palm leaf, coconut water, and ocean breeze. And if you're looking for some, something that is a bit stronger, that lasts a bit longer, then this might be a good option for you. It's a very fresh, beachy, um, slightly a little bit of green in there with that palm leaf, but very, very nice. So we talked a lot this video. I hope you found it helpful. I do find these videos stress me out because I want to try to give you my best recommendations. And sometimes it's hard because there's so many scents that fall in that medium category that are just great. And those are probably the bulk of our fragrances, the ones that are the medium. So those appeal to a lot of people. And you can probably guess that I like many of those and would, would warm many of those in my home as well. But don't forget, if you're interested in seeing some of the other Strong Along videos, I'll put the link down below. If you have some must-haves that I've missed, please list them below. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. If it did, hit the like. And if you like Sensi content, please subscribe to my channel. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.